it's time for me to get real with my closet. And that's scary. After not being with a lot of my clothes for six months, then unpacking all of my clothes when we moved into this house, it's time for me to get real with my closet. This is a hard one for me. I don't really know why my attachment with certain clothes. I like clothes. I like changing outfits. And I guess that's why I've accumulated so much of it. But after being away from a good chunk of my clothes for six months, when we, you know, packed everything up, potted it for the move to the new house, we decided to only keep, you know, a little bit of clothes so that we didn't have to move things around six times. And when we got here and I started unpacking clothes, <sighs> the reality set in that I have a lot of clothes. Now, we used to have a six by six or six by seven foot closet, walk-in closet in the old house. And somehow I fit like we have what, three closets right now filled with my clothes? Most of that is mine and not a lot of it's Luke's. And the reality is over the last few years, I have gained quite a bit of weight due to my health struggles. I've had a hard time coping with that and I've had a hard time accepting the fact that that's the reality for me for now. You know, my life's changed a lot in the last year. I don't work in an office anymore. I'm not in the corporate world. I'm not having to wear blazers every day like I used to at work. So I have a lot of this, you know, really fancy clothes that, you know, I've got nowhere to wear. I leave the house maybe twice a week if I'm lucky. And that's if I have the energy to do so. And sorry, but I don't really feel like putting on a gown for my day to day. It doesn't make a lot of sense. It just doesn't work for me. I just don't have the energy for it anymore. I've come to the conclusion that it's time that I do a full closet purge. I am going to be taking the Mary Kondo concept of things and keeping the clothes that spark joy. For me, will that clothes all fit? I don't know yet. I may keep some pieces that don't currently fit me, but I really do love that I'm just not ready to part with. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes when I get through the process and just see how I cope emotionally with, you know, really downsizing my wardrobe and making it work for me for right now, because I feel like this evolution of where we're at, I'm going to be here for a little while. And, you know, as much as I hope my size comes down as I get back to the gym and work with my trainer and things like that, hopefully get things, you know, to a better spot weight wise. For the time being, I really want to focus on making these choices like getting dressed in the morning more simple and easier for me so that, you know, I'm not having to use the very little amounts of brain power I have putting on and taking off clothes that doesn't fit or doesn't work for me right now. That just doesn't make any sense. And so I think it's really time for me to consciously make that decision to go through my closet, make it work for me now. So follow me on that journey. We'll see how things go and figuring out what sparks joy for me. After 14 iterations, we are back at Ikea trying to figure out what the heck we're going to do for a closet in our master bedroom. So follow along as we put together a closet. It is not what we originally intended. We were hoping to put in a PAX system, um, but with the shortages with COVID and the fact that we just found out that the 35 centimeters, so the narrow brand of the pack system is actually potentially being rebuilt, which is why they haven't brought them back in stock. Um, and so with all that in mind, we decided to ditch the packs idea. We've run through many, many more iterations since, and we finally decided to purchase the Nordly collection. And we're now at Ikea very early in the morning to hopefully get our hands on some of the last pieces they have in stock. So let's see if they're still here. And uh, according to the website, they are, but I'm still hoping we haven't made this trip for no reason. Came with a plan? Huh? Came with a plan?
<laughs> How quick was that? I don't know. Like two minutes. Now we have to wait like probably a half hour for them to pick it though. 12 minute wait time. Well, that's not a bad idea. Here we go. How many times are we gonna have to Tetris this into the car? That is the question. So while Luke gets his butt moving on finishing the closet that we're building, thanks Ikea. It had everything we needed, yay. Um, Jessica and I, so for you who haven't met Jessica yet, she's my best friend, maid of honor. She was the best MOH ever. And she is going to help me because, you know, I don't have the physical or mental ability to go through three closets by myself. And so Jess is going to help me get through all of the clothes that we moved to this house and purge and do what I need to do to finally get this closet functional. And so while we do that, you can uh, watch us purge clothes and make sure that things actually look the way I want them to. We got four drawers done, two, four, six, eight more to go. Then this is moving and then we've got Jessica and the first closet of clothes that needs to get gone through. So we'll start here and then we'll get through the other two closets afterwards. Well, it's been a few days. I tried to film a close to this video right after we finished going through all the clothes and putting everything away. And honestly, I just was so mentally and physically exhausted from it that it just didn't happen. So here we are a few days later since we finished putting up the new closet. It's been great since my body is physically just done. I am not feeling the greatest. It took a lot out of me. I expected it to even with all of the precautions that we used, you know, by bringing in Jess for helping us. Thank you, Jess, for everything you did for us on on this project. Your help was just so fabulous and in helping me make decisions about certain things, certain clothes that I knew I should be giving away, but I just needed that affirmation to make those decisions. And so I really appreciate all your help on this project. I knew that there was going to be some recovery time from this project and here we are. I finally have just enough energy to film this and give you guys the beautiful before and after. There is more to come. Uh, we have not finished with this project just yet. All of my clothes has been moved into the new closet. Now we still have Luke's clothes and we've got a few different ideas in mind to finish this wall and make it look absolutely stunning. We're just waiting for honestly for some funds to come in and for a little bit more time and energy to be able to finish her off. There's also some stock issues with Ikea so all of this will take a little bit of time and you know what that's okay. We'll just take it as it is. So for now this will be the end of our closet decluttering and reorganization. There'll be more to come, I'm sure. I always love going through my closet at least once a year, if not every six months. This purge was a large one. Uh, we gave away more than two bags of clothes. There's probably another bag to come as we finish a few little things and unbox a few last boxes from the move, but we definitely did a really big declutter. It's nice to just have all my clothes laid out. I know where everything is, and mentally it's just helped me really make decisions much faster when it comes to getting dressed in the morning for the few days that I've had it. So I'm looking forward to having it for a long time to come and evolving it and making it even more functional as time and money allows. So. There'll be more content to come on this beautiful closet adventure, but for now, we'll leave it here and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please like, give us a comment, let us know what your thoughts are. And you know, if you have someone in your life that might be looking to do a closet renovation or a closet declutter, 
by all means, we'd love for you to share this video with them. So till next time, don't forget to slow your roll and breathe.